Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the coronavirus, um, which is a very hot topic right now because there is a new strain of coronavirus that is affecting people worldwide at this point. And there is some concern, I have been seeing posts on social media, that there is some concern about if this particular strain of coronavirus can affect our companion animals, meaning our cats and our dogs. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit just to kind of update you on what it actually is and prevention and all of that wonderful stuff. So I've got my notes here because I've done a lot of research because I wanted to make sure I got all of the correct information for you so that you know what is going on and you know what to do and if this is going to affect your cats and dogs. Um, because some people seem to think that it might. I think there's actually some false reporting going on uh, overseas saying that it could be transmitted through dogs and cats, which is very unfortunate because as of right now, there's absolutely no evidence that this particular strain of coronavirus can be transmitted through our dogs and cats. So the coronavirus right now, it's being called, you might see 2019-N-COV. And what that stands for is the 2019 new strain coronavirus. And they're calling it that because they it's, it previously is a strain that has previously not been identified. So it's not yet been identified. So they don't have fancy name for it. Like previously, I don't know if you remember back to when SARS was a big thing, S-A-R-S. That was also a coronavirus. It was just a different strain of coronavirus. And so <clears throat> what a coronavirus is, it's a very large family of viruses. And corona, which I think translates to king, just refers to the fact that if you think about a, a crown, um, a crown may have like points on it. And the coronavirus has like a pointy exterior. So that's what... Um, that's really all Corona means is that it's a family of viruses that have this like pointy exterior going on. So it originated, the 2019 new strain coronavirus originated in Wuhan, China. It has currently spread to 24 other countries, including the United States. Reportedly has killed 362 people in China and one person in the Philippines as of this past Monday, which was February 2nd. However, there is a lot of suspicion that China is massively underreporting how many people have been infected or currently infected and how many people have died. Um, so those numbers are probably very, very low. It is, again, the coronavirus is a large family of viruses. Some of them, some of these strains in this family of viruses can spread from animal to animal. Some can spread from animals to people, and some are just people to people. So it covers the whole gamut of people to people, people to animals, animals to people, it cover, animals to animals, it covers the whole gamut. Specifically, um, historically with this particular family of viruses, I believe it's camels, cats, and bats are the like primary animals sus suspected, which may be feeding some of these false claims that this current 2019 new coronavirus uh, could be transmitted through our companion animals. Again, that is completely, right now, according to the WHO or the World Health Organization, that is completely false. There is absolutely no evidence that the 2019 new coronavirus, which is the strain we are currently dealing with now, had, that there is no evidence that it is transmitted to or from our companion animals, meaning dogs and cats. So I really want to get that point out there. There is no evidence of that whatsoever, uh, according to the WHO or the World Health Organization. If you have symptoms, what are the symptoms? This is currently only known to transmit from person to person. So if you are around a sick animal, don't, it, it, it's not the 2019 new coronavirus that we know of. Symptoms of the 2019 new coronavirus, mild to severe respiratory illness with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. So if you have any of those symptoms, 
go to the emergency room. They know the procedure. Testing can only be done by the CDC at this point in the United States. This is where I am. I'm in the United States. So testing is only for the 2019 new coronavirus is only being done by the CDC right now, but go to the emergency room. They will know what to do. Again, the WHO currently is saying there is absolutely no evidence that the 2019 new coronavirus is being transmitted to or from our companion animals. So what can you do? Um, if you are concerned about contracting the coronavirus, uh, no matter where you are in the world, there are some things you can do to help preve prevent being um, around it. First of all, if you're sick, stay home. Um, wash your hands. The number one thing you can do no matter what you're worried about, whether it's a common cold, which by the way, this particular strain, uh, the 2019 new coronavirus, is in no way related to older um, strains of this virus that we already know about. I actually saw um, some people posting on social media that the back of a Lysol can says that it protects like 99%, whatever Lysol says, against human coronavirus. However, this is a new strain of coronavirus, one that has previously not been recorded. So um, in this particular instance, we do not know that Lysol will help with this particular strain. This is a new strain that has not uh, previously been identified. So if you think you're going to go buy a ton of Lysol and kill the coronavirus, the current 2019 new strain coronavirus uh, they do not know yet. Also, the CDC and World Health Organizations in general still are trying to pinpoint how this particular new strain of virus uh, originated. They don't know that yet, so we can't report on that yet, so I can't tell you. I wish I could, but we don't know, we don't know yet. All we know is that this is a previously unidentified strain of coronavirus. Prevention, again, no matter what it is you're worried about, whether it's the cold or the flu or coronavirus or whatever it is you are worried about contracting this is just true in everyday life guys wash your hands 20 seconds at least with warm or hot water and soap and wash your hands often um wash your hands anytime you clean anything up wash your hands any anytime you get anything on your hands wash your hands um if you go outside and you touch your car door, if you go to the store and touch things on the shelves, you don't know who has touched anything that you've touched, wash your hands. So that is like the number one thing you can do no matter what it is you're concerned about is wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, especially if you have not recently washed your hands. Um, again, stay home when you're sick. If you cough or sneeze, cover your mouth and nose with a tissue and throw that tissue away. And clean and disinfect um, your surfaces in your home frequently. Uh, also, just kind of on a side note, you uh, want to keep your vitamin D levels up. You want to keep your vitamin C levels up. Um, eat healthy. Because as, as with any virus, any parasite, any anything, it is going to prey on people or animals who are the weakest first. And so if you're not healthy in general, then you are more susceptible to um, being sick. And that includes diseases. So eat healthy and exercise. Um, also with your pets, even though this current 2019 new coronavirus, we have absolutely no evidence that it can affect our companion animals. Still, I'm going to go ahead and interject here. Keep your animals healthy as well. Feed them a fresh food diet, a balanced fresh food, species specific, biologically appropriate diet. Uh, make sure they're getting plenty of exercise to keep them healthy as well. So I do want to just interject that because I am a pet parent coach and that's what I do. So I think that kind of covers everything I really wanted to discuss about the coronavirus. Actually, I've been talking, so let me get a drink of water real quick. Hmm. drink water and hydrate that's another thing right thank you sorry guys this is live so um yes i think i covered everything about the coronavirus if you have more questions 
please post them in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already following my page or subscribe to my channel, please do so. And I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.